In this video, you will be introduced to the Messages feature that is available on Blackboard. This feature allows users to privately communicate with others in the course. Please keep in mind that unlike emails, messages are accessed only within your course on Blackboard. To send a message, you will first need to access your course. Once you're logged into the Blackboard Learn homepage, select your course under the My Courses panel. Then, select the Messages link under the Course Tools navigation menu on the left. Select Create Message. Then, select the recipients that you would like to send a message to. To select a recipient, click on To. Click on the name of the user and click on this arrow. Enter a subject and enter a message. You have the option of attaching a file. To attach a file, click on Browse. Once you are done composing your message, click on Submit to send it. Please note the unread column. Under this column, you will see the number of incoming messages that you have not read. Blackboard will not provide you with the notifications if you have a new unread message. You will need to manually click on the Messages tab on the Course Tools menu on the left in order to check for any new messages. You also have the option to create a new folder. To create a new folder, click on this button. For example, I'm going to create a new folder entitled Group Project 1. To create the folder, select the Submit button. You have the option of transferring email messages from your inbox folder to any new folder that you create. To transfer a message to another folder, simply click on the inbox folder and locate the message that you'd like to transfer. Check this box on the left and select Move. Once you select Move, you'll be taken to this screen. Under the Select a Personal Folder option, select the folder that you'd like to transfer the message to. Next, select Submit. And once you access the Messages tab on the left, you will see the message under the new folder. In summary, you now know how to create a new message and how to create a new folder.